let's see what's on the agenda for today. Oh, isn't today supposed to be... Hello, Princess. Have you finished preparing? I'm here to pick you up. Thanks, Rufus. Um, pick me up for what again? Please don't tell me you forgot. Today we have to discuss and rehearse the merger ceremony. Oh, uh, um, sorry, not ringing any bells. Refresh my memory. What's the merger ceremony exactly? It's to commemorate the day Arles took another step into the future and merged with the Arlen Republic. It is a very important event for our land. Indeed. It will mark the final official act of Arl's kingdom. As you are the princess of Arl's, I must ask you to attend no matter the circumstances. I see. So Arl's kingdom is gonna be gone soon. Okay, I'll be there no matter what. My days as a princess are almost over. Not that I'm gonna miss the title, but... It's still kind of sad that the Kingdom of Arles is going to disappear. I'm back! Oh, I guess Miss Totri isn't back yet. Well, I need to go rest up. So tired. Everyone was smiling and happy. It seems like they were really enjoying themselves. I thought this was going to be the end, but maybe I was wrong. I think I get it now. What I saw that day in the act of alchemy... It was actually the potential within myself. I just started moving, carrying that potential along with me. <laughs> Not much time left now. I'm going to do everything I can to have no regrets once Arles becomes part of Arlen. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Atelier Meruru. We now officially have three months left in-game before our merger with Arlen. 
and so there are a couple of important things on the agenda that we need to take care of. First and foremost, of course, is the volcanic eruption problem with Mount Velas. In the last video, we learned that Mount Velas is dangerously close to erupting and there is a sleeping creature deep in the volcano that we need to take care of. Off screen, I didn't really have a whole lot of opportunity to do anything just because I was waiting for that cutscene to take place and it is a timed cutscene. However, I don't think I need to spend a lot of time in Arles. As you can see here, my basket is looking really, really well. It's still got many supplies despite the fact that I have been fighting a lot of enemies, a good variety of healing and attacking items. Off screen, I did fix some equipment for Meru, Sturk, Mimi, as well as some of my party members I'm not using for future playthroughs. Hopefully that will help. And I'm just going to check to see what my homes are up to before I leave. I've set them to make me some items that will hopefully be uh, finished by the time I return to Arles. So what I'm going to do in this video is start the chain of events that is going to allow us to defeat the beast that is in Mount Velas. So Toetry might have some ideas for us. We need to find a way to freeze the volcano, or at least cool it down. Miss Toetry, do you have any ideas for an item that might work against the volcano incarnate? Well, I've been thinking and it seems like the best approach would be something that deals with freezing. The most common item would be bomb ice. Huge ice damage is possible, but I've never tried it against a volcano. I think I read about the bomb ice thing in your library. It sounds like something that might work. Bomb ice works instantly, but what you need is something that can sustain a huge cooling effect for longer. In which case, it should be a diffusion bomb, one not focused on destruction, but on absorbing the heat over time. Um... Miss Totary, I have absolutely no idea what you're saying. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just got carried away thinking about the recipe. What? So you're gonna come up with the recipe for me? Oh no, I wish I could, but making a recipe from scratch is a very involved process that takes lots of time. Especially since this is a unique item that differs in use and application from other items. If only I had more time. I see, but we have to figure out a way to do something about this in not very much time. If only there were a recipe I could use as a reference. If I had that, I could cut down the time needed immensely. I wonder if there's anyone in the kingdom who knows a recipe like that. But we're the only alchemists here. I'll search for more items we might be able to use. You should go gather more information for the time being. Okay, thanks a bunch! Well, Totori is sort of helpful. Obviously, cooling down an entire volcano is no easy task. Now, Hannah seems to have a little bit of knowledge about Mount Velas, so we're gonna go and talk to her next. Because she had mentioned before we started to develop the area that she knew quite a bit about the area. She got a lot of supplies from there. Hmm, I guess you don't have it. Hey, May, I'm standing right here, you know. Are you saying you're not happy with what my store has to offer? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean it that way. You see... Ah, now I understand. Well, it's the Volcano Incarnate, right? So, it should be weak to cold stuff. That's what I figured, so I'm wondering if there are any materials I can use to make something super powerfully cold. Well, let's see, the most common item is the Snowstone. It's very cool and crisp. Hmm, I know that's an alchemy item used to make bomb ice. And there are some rare herbs whose effects can release heat from the inside out. Oh, I never heard of that before. That's really helpful. But I don't know of anything that can be used directly against the monster. Probably just stick to water and ice. I'm 
not sure if they'll be of any use, but let me give you some stuff out of my special stock. Here, take these. And she's gonna give us 10 snowstones, which is actually going to be helpful, so thank you, Hannah. Wow, so many, Hannah, are you sure I can have all of this? Go on, don't be shy, you've done a bunch for me, and besides, we have to do something about that beast, right? I want to help, and this is the only way I know how. You can do this, May. Thanks, Hannah, I'm gonna figure this out. Alright, well, we got a couple of clues, however, we are still lacking the actual recipe that we need in order to create something that could cool down a large area like that so rapidly. And I don't think bomb ice is gonna cut it, because it's such a significant little small item. Let's head back to the workshop. Okay, after asking around, I have a bunch of information, but I still don't have a basis for the recipe. Even Miss Totu said that making a recipe from scratch is really hard. Plus, it could erupt any minute. Excuse me, by our king's order, I have come to deliver this to you. This is an alchemy recipe? What's something like this doing in Arles? It was used when Arles faced the same crisis years ago. I hope you'll recall the outcome of their efforts. I won't be able to use the exact same recipe, but I could still make a strong item based on this. Thank you, Rufus, and tell Dad thanks, too. Okay, then. There is one more thing. Lord Dessier has one condition for accepting the recipe. Oh, what is it? To return home safe and sound. That is all. Of course, I was planning on it. I'll come home victorious for sure. Well, thank you, Rufus. The good news is that they already have the recipe for us. We read the alchemist's notes and we are able to make a rhyme crystal. So after you get the earthquake in Arles, you need to talk to Totori, talk to Hannah, and then come back to the workshop. From there, you should be able to make the item. If I can find it in my list, that would be fantastic. It should be development equipment. I have such a long list of items. Okay, it's not in development equipment. Well, I guess I'll just scroll through. Here it is, the rhyme crystal. So it'll show up in your list, and you then have to make one of these. It's a level 38 item, so not terribly difficult to make. Hannah gives you 10 snowstones that you're going to need to make it. All you need after that is three water sources, one thing of salt, and a supplement. So this is actually a pretty simple recipe to make. It doesn't matter the quality, it doesn't matter the traits. All that's important is that you make one of them. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. It takes us two days to make, and we're just gonna pick out a handful of traits. Plenty to offer when it comes to alchemy. 
I'm sure you're right, but I'm just worried is all. Come on now. There's no time to waste on worry. Let's try to finish the recipe by tomorrow. have become. <laughs> you mean it? You think I'll be as good as you someday? Ah, uh, that there? It's not quite right. It should have been simple. Okay, start over from the beginning. Uh, no way! What should I do? This part's too hard for me. This is... a bit too hard for me, too. Let me think about this one. Hey! Verona wants to play, too! Don't leave me out! Oh, I think this one's a bit too tough for you, Verona. Maybe next time. Nuh uh. Verona's real smart. Let me see it. Hey, knock it off! Ugh, I don't have time for this. What should I do? Hmm. <laughs> I get it. So that's what this is. Aw, that's so cute, Verona. Acting like you understand. <laughs> All done! Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> what a funny picture. Miss Tulgery, look what Rorona drew for us. Let me take a look at that. Mm, so that's how it works. Uh, hey, hold on. Miss Tulgery, are you saying her little doodle actually makes sense? Is it really just a doodle? Take a closer look. Pay attention to the details. Okay. So... Hmm. I mean, I guess maybe there's some symbols there. Huh? They're all alchemy formulas! Of course it just looked like random doodles to people who don't know better! Miss Rorona is quite remarkable. I still have yet to reach her level. Right? Rorona's real smart, huh? Is Meruru smart now, too? Uh, I think so. I wouldn't have come up with it myself, but I understand it now. Good! Then let's keep going! But all this thinking is really wearing me out. <laughs> I'm glad you understand the difficulty of creating a recipe. Working from scratch is always much tougher. How do you still have energy, Miss Tulgery? You're the one doing pretty much everything. It's simply our difference in experience. Come on, we're almost done. You can do it. Okay. Let's do this. Woo!
It's... it's... finished! Yep. I think we've changed everything we possibly could. It's at least ten times more powerful than the original. So if I synthesize this recipe, you think I'll be able to stop the volcano? We've done everything we can, so we have no choice but to put our faith in it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll go gather the ingredients and start synthesizing right away. Phew, it took Beararu all night, but she finally came up with the recipe for the Ice Cascade Bomb, which is the item we're going to be using to gain access to the boss lurking in the bottom of Mount Velas and to hopefully stop the eruption. That is going to have to wait until next time, seeing as how this video was pretty much all cutscenes. Very important cutscenes though, guys. I hope you enjoyed the lead up and next time we are going to be heading over to Mount Velas. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.